welcome back to you all. What are we going to do today? Hmm. Well, for a fact, I know we are definitely going to have fun while dramatizing some of our emotions. You will need paper or a notebook, colors like cookies or twisties, whatever you have. Colored pens will do too. Clay if you can, or you can make mud. You can use dress up clothes or ask mum, dad, or granny if you can use some of the old clothes and hats for this lesson. Activity one. What's that feeling? Look at each face and ask yourself, what do I feel like this? When do I feel like this? What makes me feel like this? On the top row you can see a happy face, a scared face, a sad face, a worried face. Now take turns dramatizing the feeling in each picture while someone else or mum guesses and then let mum act it out and you guess. Activity 2. Good feelings. Look at the emoji, heart and peace sign. What feelings come to mind? Go get your crayons, colours and choose different colours to represent how we feel. Red often means love. Yellow could be happiness. Show at how someone looks or behaves when they are happy, content or joyful. What happens in our bodies when we feel, experience these feelings? Discuss when you have these feelings. Activity 2 continued. Not so good feelings. Not so good feelings are when we are sad, scared, angry, disappointed or mad. We all have negative feelings from time to time and it's okay. Now choose some colours and draw someone who is sad, scared and mad. So you have to draw three people. One sad, one scared and one mad. Not so good feelings. We do have choices when we are cross. And we must be aware of our actions and consequences. If you know you are getting mad and you do not want to, your actions to hurt someone else or even yourself, then try and move away from the situation and relax your body. You can do it. Now think of a time when you were mad. What happened in your mouth, your head, eyes, stomach and head? Act out being mad. Go get some dress up clothes. Put up an, on a hat. Be mad. In this activity, boys and girls, you must express your feelings through art. It's very good for you. So you can either draw more of these feelings or make clay masks to show how you feel at different times. Activity Three, choose one of the following activities. If you can do all three activities, then you get a hundred percent. Keeping a feelings and emotion diary. This will give you time and space to think things through. No one else will see it because it's a private diary. Then you can do a picture story like a comic strip and write the different emotions as situations develop. 
write a story using as many feeling words as you can. Good job, boys and girls. More fun. You can mime different feelings and act for family members to guess what you are miming. Remember, mime is like acting, but you do not use words. Keep filling in your feelings, diary. Your school teacher would love to see your story with lots of feeling words in it. So put it in a safe place to show her.